Hi, I'm Rachel Greninger with Red Carpet Report, and tonight we're at the 2016 Final Draft Awards talking to writers about writing. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm Zach, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. My brother is a ginger, and I'm originally a ginger, so I already feel connected so to you. We have an energy. A little, ju little vibe right here. Already. You're also from Canada as well? Nay. 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 Washington State. So My girl's from Washington State. Yes. She's awesome. Boom. Nailed it. Have you ever been up there? I have recently. It's beautiful. Yeah, now it is. In like three months, it'll be just like hell. It'll just be horribly. A small window of like four days of perfect weather is fantastic. So tell me a little bit about what you're excited uh, um, here for tonight. Well, it's the final draft awards. Um, I'm a writer and a director, and the last year I wrote three scripts, and all of them have been made. So I spent a lot of time. That's on That's amazing. Software. Yeah, I'm very. I'm Congrats! Very, you wrote three you. in a year, and they all got made. That's crazy talk. Actually, the last one's in principal photography right now, and so. Um, yeah, uh, I spent a lot of time in front of Final Draft, and it made my life a lot easier. And it's uh, it's one of those things, you know. The people don't really understand what a writer goes through, and so to see other people who understand that process and are so good at it, and to show them respect is it's exciting. Well, my roommate's a screenwriter, so I see a little bit firsthand. Do you have any advice uh, on somebody who's trying to get their first script made? Um, write it. Read a bunch of books, write it, and then go on to the next job. And then come back to the first one, and then look at it like three months later. Because your perspective changes as you learn. Uh, and, and don't become overly precious about something. It's, it's almost like a on, uh, non-linear editing. You can edit a scene, and it looks great. But then you can open another file and edit the whole thing a completely different way. So it allows you to have different perspectives on the same moment, and therefore you have a whole bunch of options. That's really, so it's almost like you're extrapolating each moment to give yourself different options based on like your character's journey. Yeah, exactly. That's rad. It's really fun. So what's your writing process like? Because some people fall into a creative hole and don't come out for six months and some people do it for a couple. Obviously you had to do it pretty quickly because you wrote three. I do, I do it fast. Uh, my process is kind of like the Tasmanian devil. Um, you know, I build that momentum. I do, uh, I, I, I work on story, then I work on the beat sheet, then I work on the characters, and I work on a little bit of the layering of what the characters are bringing to the table with their own backstories, the way they talk. And then I think about that every moment of every day, and it builds into a momentum, and my Tasmanian devil kicks on, and then I'll, I'll write 70 pages in like four or five days. I don't sleep. But, Obviously not. Right. But then it's worth it because then I can then I take a nap, I come back and I write some more and I can I can get a lot done that way, but it becomes an all consuming process. I'm not the guy who can do, you know, an hour here and I can't do that. I have to just jam it all out. Yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a painter and I'm also an actress, but the difficult part is is I get into a hole, like a creative hole, and I just start going like in a direction. I'll watch like a movie or, or I'll hear a song. I'll get really inspired and I'll just have to work on a painting for the next four hours or else I'll lose it. Creative hole or a creative opportunity? Because I, I, I feel like I get lost, though. Well, that's the uh, that's the idea. You want to get lost in the creative output. I guess I use it as a positive like okay. thing because creative holes are good for me. I just okay. I tell people I text them. I'm like I'm gone for the next four hours. I don't. I gotta write this out. See, I've heard the term used another way, which is like that guy who's talking about their script that they've been working on for two years, and they've never gotten it done, and they're in that creative hole where they just can't figure out this, and then every moment is too it's precious, and they get lost. In stalled. It. It's kind of like a stalled scenario. Vapor, vapor lock, yeah. Oh, um, that's kind of how it would feel. Oh, like that. I think that's a writing term as well. I think that. Yeah. And it's probably ergonomically correct as well, because your your positioning is very angled perpendicularly. I'm a nerd. Yes. Thanks for stopping. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thanks, nice yeah, to thanks so much. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you've seen here, hit like, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me who your favorite writer is.